it's an all-American tank that kicks off our list at number 10. Mobile, tough, and reliable, an amazing 48,000 of these vehicles were built in total. But one fatal design flaw relegates this machine to 10th place. The M4 Sherman tank, first produced in 1942. Top speed, 24 miles per hour. Range is 100 miles. Radial nine-cylinder engine gives a power-to-weight ratio of 15.8 horsepower per ton. Armor, 62 millimeter thickness. Primary armament, 75 millimeter high-velocity gun. The Sherman was a highly versatile tank. In its various forms, it could spit flame, clear mines, lay bridges, and even float to shore for amphibious invasions. When the Sherman tank was first introduced into the American Army, everyone thought it was a great tank. It's not the biggest tank, it's not the best tank, it's not the fastest tank. It's certainly not got the most powerful gun, but it is, it is a workhorse tank. The first Shermans rolled off the Detroit production line in 1942 and were soon fighting in North Africa. On first impressions, this seemed like the perfect tank. The interior was roomy and it was easy to drive. It was fast and good across country. But before long, the Sherman began to reveal its deadly flaw. The problems with the Infor Sherman tank were that it was a gasoline powered vehicle. And because it was gasoline powered, if it got hit, it burned. In fact, the Germans referred to it as an American cooker, a Tommy cooker. Our crews refer to it as a Ronson after the lighter because it lit every time. When it got into combat, as we say down home, a lot of people got the red licked off their lollipop real hurriedly. Once a Sherman was on fire, the crew would only have seconds to evacuate before their tank would become a fiery tomb. But the Sherman did have one advantage. It was the perfect tank to mass produce. Allied designers had gambled on speed and weight of numbers over firepower and protection. History proved them right. After landing on D-Day, this tank led the Allied advance across Europe, smashing through Hitler's armies. It's not a great tank, it's just significant in that there were 55,000 of them. World War II was a battle of production. We won the battle of production. We won that war at home through the production of the M4 Sherman. I think the most significant technological innovation was its simplicity of use and building. Uh, it was so easy to manufacture. The Sherman scores low on firepower and protection. Its Ford eight-cylinder engine was efficient and reliable so the Sherman scores slightly better for mobility. But it is ease of manufacture that wins the M4 its place amongst the top 10 tanks. A staggering 48,000 of them were produced over just three years. So in the production rating, the Sherman gets top score.